My big, fat, fabulous life had a few ordinary folks who enjoyed a bit of fame and fortune through their participation in the show, including Letty Alahad. Viewers developed an interest in him when he became the boyfriend of Whitney Way Thor, the main star of the reality television series in its earlier seasons, aired on the TLC cable network. The romantic relationship didn't last long, and most fans thought that being back as friends was better for the two. Rumors abounded online about the former couple reuniting in the 10th season of the series, which started airing in August 2022. My Big Fat Fabulous Life was launched on the 13th of January 2015 and has captured the interest of both American and international viewers for nine seasons. It's centered on the life of a 380-pound woman named Whitney Thor, along with her friends and loved ones. When smartphones became accessible and the technology for point-and-shoot cameras improved, vlogging became a mainstream activity. In 2015, Whitney's video called Fat Girl Dancing, Talk Dirty to Me, went viral online. At that time, she was still working for the local radio show Jared and Katie in the Morning at 107.5 KZL. Her staff found her dancing skills amazing, despite her hefty size, and thought it would generate interest online. It sure did, as the video gained about 8 million views soon after it was posted on YouTube. Her other dance videos attracted more viewers, and she uplifted the morale of those with plus-size bodies. TLC Network took notice and created the reality TV series entitled My Big Fat Fabulous Life for her. Whitney Way Thor is from Greensboro, North Carolina. When she was in college, she was diagnosed with a medical condition called polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, which affects women's ovaries and hormones and was the reason why she gained so much weight in just a short time. Despite the physical limitation, she never let it hinder her from living a full, fun, and fabulous life, hence the title of the show. To inspire more people, she offered big girl dance classes and launched the online app No BS Active, in which people of all sizes could avail of several workout routines, including stretch sessions, tutorials, dance videos, and meditation guides. Lenny Alahat made sporadic appearances from the second season up to the fourth season, so he wasn't credited as a regular cast member. While his screen time wasn't that massive compared to other stars of the show, his character endeared him to regular viewers, so that up to this day, they still talk about and wonder what happened to him. In the second season, Lenny was introduced as a commissioned artist who paints for a living. He and Whitney met on the dating app Tinder, and after talking online for a while, finally agreed to meet on a date. Lenny took her to a fun place called Wine and Design, where people could create memories by getting an hour or two of learning how to paint while drinking wine. A local artist was provided to guide them as they painted on their canvases, with a sandy beach setting. But Whitney didn't need one, as Lenny was there to help her out. She was initially quite wary of going on a date with him, because of having been disappointed many times in the past. However, after the first date, she shared, online chemistry does not always translate to real life chemistry at all. But I have to say, he's really hot. My big fat fabulous life fans were charmed by Lenny when he accompanied Whitney in babysitting a friend's baby. They had fun playing with the baby and he had a great attitude and showed no aversion when it was time to change the diaper after the baby pooped. It earned him points in Whitney's eyes and gained positive feedback from many viewers. It seemed Whitney had finally found a great guy. Lenny and Whitney planned to move in together as they became more serious about their relationship. However, when they went to spend a fun night with Whitney's friends, Buddy and Heather, it caused tension between them. It was supposed to be a harmless couple's game night just to see who between the two couples knew each other best. Initially, Whitney was relieved that they were getting the upper hand, as she and Lenny had known each other longer than Buddy and Heather. However, as the game progressed, everyone realized that Whitney and Lenny didn't know each other as well as they thought they did. They bombed topics such as prenuptial agreement, favorite fruit, country to visit, and other rather trivial topics that a person should have known about their partners. When Whitney was asked in an interview about it, she couldn't fathom what happened and said, Am I sleeping with a stranger? During the fourth season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, 
fans were shocked that Whitney broke up with Lenny. They talked, and she said that because they were both busy, they weren't able to bond as well as a couple should. She also mentioned that she was already 32 years old and felt that she was ready to move two steps forward, but it seemed that as a couple, they weren't ready yet. Lenny asked, did I do anything wrong? As he felt overwhelmed and stunned by the turn of events, saying that it was something he never expected to happen. He even asked Whitney if she wanted someone else, but she told him that wasn't the case. It just dawned on her that they spent less and less time together. It was exasperated further when he wasn't there when she was fired by her trainer and when she participated in the dance competition. She said that she relied only upon herself for emotional support and that she felt that the whole time it happened, she was already single and they obviously had a communication problem. During the second episode of the fourth season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life, Whitney made an announcement that astounded not only Lenny, but fans of the show as well. She told him that after she'd taken three pregnancy tests at home, and she was pregnant. In a confessional video shown between scenes in the show, he couldn't believe it and said, you've got to be fucking kidding me. He even asked that proverbial question between former lovers when pregnancy was discovered. You're not just fucking with me right now. Whitney felt insulted that he'd asked her, meaning that she jumped into bed easily after they broke up. However, Lenny explained that he was once a victim of a pregnancy hoax from a former girlfriend who wanted to get them back together. At that time, she thought he would leave her to deal with it, but she was pleasantly surprised that he stayed and supported her in whatever she planned to do. After being shocked and overjoyed by the pregnancy announcement, Lenny and Whitney underwent a harrowing discovery days later. Whitney went to see a gynecologist, even though all the home pregnancy tests she took yielded positive results. Her initial test with the doctor also came out with a positive result. But to check out further if everything was okay internally, the doctor did an ultrasound, only to find out that she developed a cyst on her ovaries and was the main reason why all the pregnancy tests came out positive. She had to retrace her steps and tell everyone that she wasn't pregnant. Lenny was quite devastated when he learned the truth. While he didn't plan to be a father anytime soon, the thought of him having a child changed his perspective. He even told her that he'd already found a crib on Craigslist and that he was going to look for baby clothes with his sister. Anyone who becomes part of a popular reality TV series is treated as fair game by entertainment reporters and fans whose habits include online sleuthing. Apparently, after Lenny ceased to appear on My Big Fat Fabulous Life, there were several rumors questioning his real identity. Viewers were astounded that the bearded professional artist was using a screen name during his time in the series. It was supposed to be a reality TV show in which everyone used their real names to differentiate the show from other scripted drama series. Lenny Alahat was a fake identity. Nathaniel David Lee was his real name. This revelation perplexed fans of the show and questioned if the producers as well as the other cast members knew the truth or if they were also lied to by Lenny. During the time Lenny participated in My Big Fat Fabulous Life, he charmed many of the viewers as he came out as someone reliable, especially when he thought he was going to be a father. However, an online news site revealed that they found legal documents which showed that he'd had a sordid past Back in November 2008, Lenny was arrested for driving under the influence, or DUI. When the police tested him that day, he was about three times over the allowed legal alcohol intake limit. He also resisted arrest and attacked the law enforcement officers even when he was already in handcuffs. The report even made Lenny disgusting in the eyes of those who learned about it, when the officer shared that he even continued to spit on police equipment after the arrest was made. Later on, he was charged with violating his probation, but was able to go through with it two years after the incident happened. If the DUI arrest wasn't bad enough, fans were shocked that Lenny had two other arrest warrants. Someone filed a legal complaint at the Guilford County Sheriff's Department in July 2016, when he'd allegedly became violent and threatened two people. It was reported that he shouted, I will kick your ass and drag you out of the damn store. 
it was way different from the kind of character he displayed in My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Many fans then discussed online that Whitney probably dodged a bullet when she broke up from him in the third season of the reality TV show. Before the 10th season of Whitney Thor's series debuted in August 2022, there were several spoilers and news articles that surfaced online, hinting at Lenny's return to the show. Fans immediately speculated that the two rekindled the romance, as the TLC network played that angle up when they were promoting the new season. With all the rumors that came out about Whitney's love life, my Big Fat Fabulous Life executive producers made sure to have Lenny appear in the debut episode of the 10th season. This time, ex-girlfriend Whitney reached out to him and hired him to do the walls of her No BS Active studio. The reintroduction of Lenny in the show wasn't forced because he was a professional artist and the only man Whitney felt was right for the job. Working with an ex-lover could be confusing and turn out to be disastrous. Whitney felt that everything would be okay since their relationship happened back in 2015. She was in a relationship with a French guy, so she made sure that she cleared it with him first, before hiring Lenny. She said that her boyfriend wasn't jealous, especially when she showed him Lenny's photo. It seemed that on her part, everything was now just platonic and nothing weird between them would happen anytime soon. However, when Lenny spoke in the confessional video, he mentioned that since he hadn't seen the French guy yet and that the boyfriend lived in Paris, he just felt that he didn't exist at all in his universe. No BS Active needed a new video producer and editor, and Lenny applied casually for the job. Initially, Whitney had concerns about hiring him for the position due to their past relationship because it wouldn't be a temporary thing like the painting of the wall. However, with her mother Babs confined in the hospital, she didn't have any spare time to look for other candidates, so she said yes and hired him. Lenny was warned by Whitney to make sure not to fall in love with her, as it wouldn't be great for the business. He teased her if it was included in the contract. Fans found it weird that Lenny could just casually enter Whitney's bedroom and hop into bed just to ask her something about work, while she was about to take a nap. She was also confused as to why he would think this was an appropriate thing to do at this time. He said that he felt it wouldn't be a problem or a huge deal since she wasn't uncomfortable with it. So she told him that other people might feel otherwise since she wasn't single anymore. However, what made the situation even weirder was that despite her initial reaction, she even asked him to scratch her back while they discussed the videos he was uploading. Glenn Thorpe, Whitney's father, walked in on them and that made things quite awkward. Glenn advised her not to do it again, as it wasn't professional. When she mentioned that they were lucky that her boyfriend wasn't around, her father was surprised that his daughter was dating anyone at the time. She explained that it was the guy she spent that summer with in France. However, Lenny couldn't keep his mouth shut and made the situation worse by saying, it isn't real if it's long distance. That comment annoyed Whitney and she told them to leave the room. The 10th season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life would show if Lenny and Whitney rekindled their love for each other. There was a moment when Lenny asked his former flame if she was in an open relationship. On Lenny's birthday, Whitney posted a birthday greeting on his Instagram account, which most fans found cringy, tacky, and unnecessary. She wrote, Happy birthday to the most excellent, extraordinary, exceptional ex-boyfriend there ever was. I could give a million examples of all the ways I love you. It seemed that she'd revealed the true nature of the relationship, but fans were still curious as to what would happen between them at the end of this season, especially since the two would be sharing a hotel room while on vacation. They'd established a great platonic and professional relationship, but with Whitney's French boyfriend living thousands of miles away, friends believed that it would soon escalate to something romantic. Stand by, fans, for further intriguing developments off-screen or in My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. 
Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.